Hey modelers, Engineer Jeff here. Some of you who pay attention to my uh, Google Plus feed know that uh, I just took a picture of my all my clan rats. I've got a problem. <laughs> I, I've got about 360 of them total that I need to paint. And doing the math, if I put the effort into them that I did for the first batch, you know, it's about an hour each, so 30 hours, really not something I want to do um, for 360 clan rats. So um, this is going to be my 15 minute paint job and uh, something I've been working on over the last few days trying to figure out. I've already uh, coated the skin with uh, initial coat of, uh, uh, let's see, I think it's it's actually from Reaper. Uh, I think I used uh, rosy skin on it. I'm going to put one more coat on it to start it out. So uh, let's say 16 minute paint job maybe. So let's get started. Not uh, being too crazy about painting within the lines, at least right now. Um, trying to make this a speedy process because what I found, uh, the very, I've only played one game of fantasy. I've always liked Skaven, and for some reason I'm attracted to Horde armies. I think it's because I have this, I don't know. It's very aesthetic to me, to the, um, what you call it, the, uh, the way these models look when they're all um, on their movement trays and stuff and on their bases. Uh, it's, it just looks cool. So, first time I played, about a year ago, actually it's the only time I played, at uh, our local games workshop and um, the guy that was teaching me yeah he was pretty cool it was just he wasn't really holding any punches which I guess it's okay I got to learn the hard way but uh, yeah it was a it, it was only 500 points which I later learned is kind of bad for Skaven uh, they die pretty easy, um, especially clan rats. His dark elves basically chewed through my clan rats. So let's change color here real quick. Um, we're gonna go ahead and jump to the armor, which I'm gonna use Vallejo Model Air Steel. It's been my go-to color for the uh, silver metallics. I really like it a lot. But uh, yeah, it, 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 was my, it was my first game, and uh, he owned me in a bad way. And I just kind of got disenchanted with, um, with painting him because I spent so much time on those turkeys. So I really didn't revisit clan rats until all this um, end time stuff. There's a little pendant or something hanging from him there. Go back in there and get that. I always end up forgetting something. Typically, I think what I'm going to do is um, paint up five of these at a time, or four at a time. Just give myself an hour each day. And after about a half a year, I'll have them all done or so. so. Yeah, I, I got into... Um, 
I really wanted to, to get all these painted. I did an inventory and and started thinking, man, even though I'm probably not going to play for a while, I got a buddy of mine named Spence who's uh, he's doing Empire. And um, my gaming room will be done soon, or my family room, whatever, slash gaming room. Again, don't sweat it if you get some on the wrong spot, or the, don't sweat it if you get some in the, in a different spot. Than it's supposed to be, because these are just cannon fodder. Anyway, getting back to the story, I, what, basically, I kind of got upset, because I'd spent all the time on painting these things. I, you know, when they're painted, they're supposed to play better, right? So, uh, yeah, he rolled through my, my unit of clan rats pretty quickly. And uh, I was boned. I was like, man, fantasy sucks. And so I started working on my Tyranids. Because I knew Tyranids were coming out this year. But, um, yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of ADD like that, I guess. There's a little spot right there. This is probably going to be a lot longer than 15 minutes, but... Okay, so we got our metallics done. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the wood color. And for wood, I've been using uh, Vallejo Model Air USA, or US Flat Brown. Just kind of working my way around the model. Got some jitters today, man. I think I drank too much coffee this morning. I've been doing a lot of my painting early in the morning. Um, been getting up earlier. And uh, I think it helps energize me and charge my day. Kind of, kind of amps me up. And then throw the coffee on top of that, and my hands got a little bit of a twitch to it. So that is the wood. And now we're going to use some uh, Vallejo Game Color Bone White. It's a little thicker than the uh, Game Air that I've been using. That new Game Air is pretty awesome. Uh, but for this particular color, I'm uh, wanting something that's going to cover a little faster. Uh, what I've noticed is because it's thin for airbrushing, the game air um, sometimes takes a couple coats. And uh, you'll see here in a second because my go to on these clan rats is uh, Goblin Green for their. Thing. And what I'll do is hit the hair dryer and uh, make sure everything's nice and dry before I head on to the next coat. It takes a few seconds. Just make sure you set the colors. Looks like we got everything. I'm gonna do another coat. Just don't have quite the coverage I'm looking for right now. Good enough. Well, I've also got it's got like a little cord or a band to go in there. Hold this. Just make a line for it so it can show up. There's a little extra. 
or something to look at. I know these are supposed to be 15 minute clan rats though. We got that now I'm just gonna take a little bit of this bone white and just kind of break most of it off and then just kind of dust across it there and I'll do a quick dry brush wet brush all right and we'll go on where's my green okay so this is, so this is the color I've been using for these guys. This is Goblin Green. So the color scheme for my rats. And it's nice and thinned out for airbrushing, so it'll take two coats usually. It goes on. using actually doing it is uh, it's a combination of, of uh, this green color and then there's um, I'm kind of alternating between green and uh, a lighter blue and just to add some variation to my army So while that's drying, we're gonna take where's my blue? Where did you go? I paint oh right, right in front of me. Vallejo model air UK is you. Just enough to paint the top. I'm gonna give this cloak. That's the blue. And we'll do the hair dryer again. And go back over the colors one more time. Yeah, so they these guys die in droves, and I think. Um, I don't want to put too much time into them because it offends my painter in me or whatever. I think when I paint them better, they should play better. Somebody needs to write GW about that. Change the rules or something. Good paint jobs you get an extra save when people are shooting at you and hit you. So we're coming up on our 15 minute mark here. Ish. And the goal is to do Four of these an hour. Go in, put a couple of spots.
Okay, and uh, I'm also going to go back with the bone white. I'm going to do the teeth. almost done. All we got to do now is um, the eyes. Uh, this Blood Red by Citadel is my go-to for clean red eyes. I'm also experimenting with uh, Escorpina Green because that's my one of my favorite colors for Tyranids, but it, I think it'll look good on the eyes as well. Alright, so let's do a Hiding behind the spear here. All right, all right. So give or take a couple minutes. That's clan rat base coated in 15 minutes, and it's ready for the wash. For the wash, I'm going to use the old school Devlin mud. Um, I still got a couple of bottles of this left and it actually works out pretty good. I picked up some of the new Agrex Earth Shade. So when all the Devlin mud runs out, we'll try this out. And so when we come back, I'll show you what it looks like after all the washing is done. Actually, let's dry it off and you can see me apply the wash. So Devlin mud. Nice big brush. And I'm just going to glob it on. I'll go through and just kind of soak up the excess. Okay, so this is the end result after the wash. It looks suitably ratty and dirty and perfect for a skaven that's getting ready to get shot up by something. So all I gotta do is paint up the base, do some nice uh, basing on him, and he's done. He's ready. That's this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comments field down below. Let me know what you think. And of course, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.